Today is finally the day. In just a few minutes, the Ermac gameplay trailer is going to drop. It is very early and I apologize to my neighbors, but this is when Netherrealm decided to drop the trailer at 8 a.m. my time. And we also get to see Movado, which I'm very excited about as well. I hope he has crazy mobility and tons of hook sword action. But then on top of that, I wonder how many of my predictions made in this video will turn out to be correct. So without any further ado, let's begin. Leave a like if you love Ermac. Subscribe if you love Mortal Kombat 1. Nope, the video just went live, so here we go play. Oh yeah, baby, that's what I'm here for. Ooh, music going in hard. Okay, very hard. Oh, he can't contain the hype. He can't contain it. Whoa, okay. He just summons minions now. Oh boy. You have shamed the souls of your ancestors. Which of my ungrateful kin are within you? <laughs> if they call me weak, they're ungrateful. Oh man, if he can summon clones, then what's Noob Saibot gonna do? That's so sick. I love that he's teal now instead of green. It's a nice subtle change. Goro! Motaro's the best partner for Shao. Let's go! I almost called him Shao Kahn. Whoa, look at that backdash. It was terrible. That was sick though. Big. Oh, the restand. Oh no. He's got the Solomon Grundy. Okay, so all the bungee attack from Movado. Oh! Where are the King Jared attacks? Cool teleport. Whoa, more bungee attacks from Movado. So sick. Oh my gosh, that's the back throw or forward throw. Very cool, very cool. You might <clears throat> be many, but I am the one. <laughs> sick. Oh, it burns. It stings. He could have been. Whoa, here's the Quan Chi kick. Okay, what's going on here? Powered up? Did he absorb the soul like I predicted? There's the move from MKX. Just looks different now. Very sick. Oh, landmines. That does make sense. Mavado is a red dragon. He's got gadgets. Oh, man. Whoa! So he just summons all sorts of things. Since we first met. We believe for the better. Okay, so he can summon things besides human spirits. He's got lots of weird, creepy souls inside of him. That was so sick. Oh, my God. I hit both of them? I'll have to rewatch that. <laughs> so that's the back throw. Very sick. Wow. He has good footsies and really cool animations, honestly. I like how creative they're getting. He's actually not floating idly like MKX or Mac. He's just standing there. Kind of like that. Dude, these cool spirits are really awesome. I love the different designs. Oh, baby. Uh, uh, oh, oh, there we stand. Oh, oh, hold him up. Hold him up. Make him, what the, oh, <laughs> just, just T pose on him. Just do the Ermac pose. Whoop. Okay, what's Movado gonna do? Oh, the fatality from Deadly Alliance, but it's just the heals, no spikes. Maybe there were spikes in there, I didn't see. Whoa, summon the Legion! Summon the Legion. Boom, Kamehameha. Okay, sick. Very, very sick. Oh, no, the fatality. YouTube, you won't get to see it, but I'm going to watch it. I'll describe it. Oh, he's doing the MKX. Yeah, I mean MK9. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> he just, <laughs> they're still alive. <laughs> for a split second, that's messed up. Uh, for everyone watching at home, he pretty much did the Vitruvian Man. <laughs> that's pretty much what he did. Okay, what's Movado gonna do? Yep, it's the Deadly Alliance. What we expected. Oh, he just goes through him, though. No. <laughs> There's no spikes this time. Okay, I called it. Very awesome throwback to Deadly Alliance. Cool stuff. We're gonna watch again, but in more detail, and this time, I'm allowed to pause. But as you all know, I love making these videos interactive, so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. How do you feel about Ermac's gameplay? Does he look sick? I think the animations are pretty crazy, but he's also very different, so let me know your thoughts down below. Like I keep saying in every video, I truly do read each and every comment, so grab that keyboard and make those voices heard. As for me, I'm gonna watch it again, but this time, I'm allowed to pause. Ha ha. You have shamed the souls of your ancestors. So that does sound like King Jared, even though I'm pretty sure Ermac is like his own entity at this point in the game. So like all the souls combined have made a new personality is what I'm saying. Sometimes one personality takes over, but for the most part, it's their collective. But you know what, real quick, I do love the subtle inclusion that each soul has something to say. Like when he's fighting Kenshi, he brings up like, hey, outworld souls should not be in Earthrealm. When he fights General Shao, he's like, your ancestors hate you. So it seems like he is listening to every soul in his body, which is sick. All right, here we go, gameplay. Fight. Let's watch more closely. That backdash is god awful. I think he's definitely meant to be a zoner because that backdash is pathetic. Did y'all see that? It was mad goofy. He did a double backdash too, he canceled it. 
that's his wave dash. It's terrible. Worst Korean back dash in the game, but good whiff punish. That looks reminiscent of his back two in Mortal Kombat 9, which is completely fine. Puts him in a crumple. Sure, you can. Then the restand. This is straight out of Injustice. Solomon Grundy had the exact same move, except there was Swamp Hands. Here it's Ghostly Hands. Oh, he does the pose there. So when he does a levitation cancel, he does the Ermac pose from UMK3. Very sick. Dude, the bungee cable extension from Movado is so sick, and that looks like it's an ambush. Oh yeah, definitely an ambush. So that means that if you're someone who plays Scorpion for the Hellfire breath, you might want to consider Movado. He has the same kind of thing going on. What up? Is that his sweep? That was sick. That's such a unique take on his teleport. So he punches you and then teleports. Yeah, I think that's how it works, unless he's special canceling, which he could be. But in Mortal Kombat 9, um, you would do an instant air jump punch in the teleport, and it made it seem like he was doing a punch in the teleport as a single attack, but it was all just a really quick cancel. So that could be what's happening here. And then a downward move. That's so sick. Yeah, I think Movado's going to be great if your character loves air juggles. I don't think he's going to work with Melina, which is a shame. I think Melina needs the Hellfire Breath from Scorpion to buy enough time for her animation to end. I'm a big Melina player. Dude, he puts hands all over you. Ermac gonna put hands on you. Ermac putting hands on you the entire game. <laughs> all the time. Alright. The big boot from Quan Chi cracks me up. He shoots a boot out of his face. Let's watch that again. Look at this. Boom! Just like stares at you and gives you the big boot. That's hilarious. It's actually his own foot, not Quan Chi's foot. But for a second I thought it was Quan Chi's foot, literally. That seems like a low mix-up. And then Movado with the OTG. Was that actually an OTG? Can he actually hit the opponent lying down? That's insane if so. If Movado gets a free hit at the end of every combo, that's going to be insane. Wow. Okay, so wait. Did he pop his own soul? I did have one prediction that Ermac would eat his own soul. Oh, uh, no. We got a buff from a soul behind him. So same kind of idea. My guess was that he would have a buffed state, and he does. I'm guessing a damage buff, but he might also get new moves. Oh, he gets enhanced attacks for sure. Those moves look very different. So I think in this state, he gets enhanced versions of moves. That's sick. Sadly, no battle axe. I wanted a battle axe real bad from the 3D era. That landmine from Movado was super sick. Is it an ambush? Oh yeah, absolutely an ambush. Oh my gosh, just stop moving. Oh, and then down. Oh, nice, man. Oh my, that's so creepy. That's so creepy and cool, dude. Oh my gosh. Ermac is very different. They definitely wanted to try a lot with him in this game. I love the stupid UMK3 levitate cancel. Just flex on him. Give him the T-pose. <laughs> it's not stupid. I just think it's like a cool flex. My bad. I, I say stupid in a good way because I'm from the 90s. Wow. Enhanced teleports fast. Nice. And also combos? Let's see again. Yep. Launches. Wow. That's pretty good. Oh, the landmine for a combo extension? Bruh. Super is freaking out right now. He is pooping his pants with excitement because he's thinking about predator traps in Mortal Kombat X. Because that's what that is. That's Hunter Predator. That's sick. So that's just a reversal, I think. But it's very fast. That could also be the armored wake up, get off me move, right? The invincible attack. Did he just use the teleport as a frame kill Oki setup? Yes, he did. So he recovers kind of quick. That's sick. Okay. Very cool. <laughs> I love his animations. They're so sick. What was that flex for? Why did they do that? Why did they do a levitate for no reason? Does the levitate give him a buff? That would be interesting. Doesn't seem like it. His fatal blow, judging by how far the souls go, may have really good range. And sadly, that's it because the fatality always comes after the fatal blow. So it looks like that Ermac is not exactly a zoner. Um, but he's definitely not a rushdown character either. He's got an even mix of both, which is really cool. I think his levitation cancels combined with the right cameo is going to be really tough to deal with. I think the fact he can buff himself is going to make him a good partner with characters like Sub-Zero that can freeze the opponent and hold them in place. But most importantly of all, I think he's going to be very confusing for the opponent. If they did not also buy Ermac, they're going to take a long while to understand what's happening here because these animations are ridiculous. He may have the best animations in the game. Alright, and there we go. That's the entire trailer. I think Ermac looks insane. 
I'm a bit disappointed to not see very much of King Jared, but maybe that's what the soldiers are for, right? When he summons the spirit of the dead soldiers, that could be a reference to King Jared. Outside of that, I didn't see very many Jared attacks, but let me know if I missed anything. There was also no battle axe, which is a bit disappointing too. I was hoping they would reach back to the 3D era and give him his battle axe, but he doesn't really need it. He still looks incredible. And also, Ermac, for the most part, never used a weapon, so I kind of get it. But one last time, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. It helps the channel out a ton. And then finish that combo by subscribing and ringing that bell so you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.